Darkness, sir. Welcome you once again in our online lecture series of information system. This is our lecture number eight, and today we are going to discuss the case study on e-commerce. Now, in the first unit, we have the two case studies. Uh, this first one on the e-commerce, and second we have the case study on the IRCTC. okay now can anybody tell me what do you mean by the case study what is mean by the case study uh, means uh, study in detail study in details of some particular sector or some uh, subject you can say or area person uh, detail study of some topic anything okay detail study or the research of something that is nothing but we are consider it as a case study okay now here also today we are going to do the case study of some particular sector that is a uh, business sector yes or no correct yes sir okay so we are going to study some detail thing related with the uh, one particular sector that is nothing but the e commerce and why we are studying these the reason behind that because in the e commerce there is a use of the information system just to so we are studying the e commerce as a case study is nothing but the one of the example the popular example of the information system okay now first we understand what exactly mean by the commerce then the term by term we understand in details what do you think about the what do you mean by the commerce what is our general conception of the uh, word commerce commerce is what hmm speak up what do you think about the commerce commercial marathi sanga no problem commerce manje kay hm tejas vanijya एवड पन मजे शुद्ध मराठी ना का संग वाणिज्य वाणिज्य व्यापार 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 वाणिज्य खूब शुद्ध मराठी करेक्ट सो कम कॉमर्स इज नथिंग बट वी कैन से द एक्सचेंज ऑफ सम थिंग exchange of some goods and services that is nothing but the called as the commerce okay so here also i have mentioned the same thing okay goods is nothing but some product last time also i told you goods is nothing but any kind of different kind of product so here i have mentioned the uh, general definition of the commerce is nothing but the it is the division or the branch of trade trade manje kay trade means also the vyapar branch of trade or production which deals with the exchange of goods and services from producer to the final consumer consumer is nothing but the customer understood so between uh, uh, which different entities the uh, trade can happen or commerce activity can happen that is my question yes what kind of things can be trade between different kind of entities different kind of entities in the sense from one business to the another business or from one person to the another person or from uh, from one shop to the one person or number of person like this kind of things okay so trading as a exchange of uh, 
certain things like goods and services usually happens for the certain kind of products which is having some kind of having economic some kind of, having some kind of economic value now goods goods in the sense of any product for example pen pen is also one good correct as one product it is also having some economic value correct yes or no yes sir does the pen is having the any economic value yes yes service when you go to the hotel the waiter comes to you and give you the service for that hotel charges you correct yes sir so that is the also exchange of service exchange of information correct or exchange of money between two or more entities here a meaning of the entities can be a person business etc etc understood so commerce is nothing but consist of the trading of different kind of goods and services information etc etc which is having some kind of economic value okay understood what do you mean by the commerce yes yes sir yes okay sir. let's yes, move forward sir. now our main point of discussion is what is the e-commerce then yes now you all understood the what is meant by commerce e now tell me about the e-commerce e-commerce hmm. is nothing but online transaction and selling or purchasing some product correct जे व्यवहार आपण फिजिकली करतो की तुम्ही दुकानात जाऊन काहीतरी परचेस करता यू गो टू द शॉप येस यू गो टू द शॉप अँड परचेस समथिंग बट दॅट इज द कॉल्ड एज अ कॉमर्स बट इ कॉमर्स इज नथिंग बट वॉट यू यू नेवर गो टू फिजिकली टू द शॉप बट यू परचेस समथिंग युटिलायझिंग द इंटरनेट सर्व्हिसेस अंडरस्टूड अँड दॅट इज दॅट इज नथिंग बट कॉल्ड एज अ इ कॉमर्स इज एज अ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक commerce or it is being also called as the internet commerce refers to buying and selling of goods and services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to execute this transaction got the definition of e-commerce yes sir when you must have some you must some of you must have purchased the mobile online from the amazon snap deal etc etc when you purchase that mobile from the amazon that is nothing but the example of e-commerce okay yes correct sir yes sir oh, yes sir yes so amazon amazon website as a amazon website is also the one of the example of web information system this also last time i have told you correct or not yes sir yes, yes. Sir. amazon website or the snapdeal website or another whatever the quicker.com olx.com these are all the information system but they are running on the internet that's why we have to call them as which kind of information system e-commerce web Uh, yeah they are example of e-commerce but we are calling them as a web information systems understood so another definition of the e-commerce also i have mentioned e-commerce is the purchasing selling exchange of exchange of goods and services over the computer network through which the transaction uh, or the terms of sales are performed electronically why it is called the electronically yes why it is called the electronical ah uh, yes hmm yes repeat electronic products karatat na sir tyachat yes we are using the electronic devices to do all these kind of activities correct like computer we use uh, we use the other electronic devices etc etc so this is nothing but the concept of what exactly mean by the e-commerce understood yes sir yes G try to give the response early as possible because i so until you, you don't give the response i will not move forward 
you must have understood these things up till correct or not yes samajla nahi samajla tumhi lage sanga ja mala tyashiwa mi pudo janar nahi if not understood i can repeat that thing with the example okay shall we move forward Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Now here I have mentioned the one slide. Ah, ata kai mula na vata dasil ki case study var. Ata tumi la ata parinte tumi aasha case studies hote ka kuna tumala apne la subject madhe tumi bagi lal kata parin kadi. Ki unit sample nantar thay kahi case study nahi. So this is the new thing. And don't uh, think that the question on the uh, case study never comes. Last time only eight marks question were there on the case study of e-commerce. understood so on the case studies also question are being asked definitely now here i have mentioned the difference between ki traditional versus the modern businesses the traditional in case of the traditional business what happen manufacturer manufacture the product then it goes to home distributor correct then from the distributor you go to the wholesaler then from the wholesaler it goes to the retailer and from the retailer it goes to the customer understood so this is nothing but the traditional way of doing the business correct and this is nothing but the e commerce where i have shown from particular company through some through some through some web information system or through some e commerce activity directly to the customer you you must have got the idea of difference between the traditional business and the modern business correct yes sir yes now tell me the advantage between these two uh, advantage of uh, the, uh, the product uh, investment product ki cost kam hi jali sir yes product last time also we have discussed correct correct ah uh, yes so there are the may we will also see next also the advantages of e-commerce but can can there be the any disadvantage of uh, this kind of business also that you must have experienced some time yes. uh, what nikita i can't hear you properly come in the range yes okay. uh, yes uh, yes karochi ko changli aste ki wo quiet aste no no i am i'm asking can there be the any disadvantage or drawback of uh, doing the business activity as a e-commerce yes mayur yes sir ah. yes sir what what i am asking what can be the disadvantage or what can be the drawback sometimes transaction will be uh, fail ah, that delivery that delay delivery delay that can be happen because of some events for example now in the lockdown period you cannot get the uh, that kind of fast service correct as expected then uh, another thing can happen ki sometimes you get the faulty product also correct or not yes, yes sir. sir but if you uh, now take the example if you purchase the mobile from physically from the shop from the evla you can check it there only but here what happen if something happens it uh, only the chances are of 10% some product get delivered to you uh, online uh, using your online activities uh, for example you uh, purchase it from the amazon sometimes it happens that product uh, uh, get received to you as a faulty product but they also giving the services of the replacement but the time factor is main there you have to send again that product through the courier to that uh, what did uh, from where you have received that product okay so that kind of things can happen in case of the e-commerce but the overall it is the most beneficial as compared with the traditional business activity yes or no yes sir yes, yes sir. now here i have mentioned why we use the e-commerce some points i have mentioned you one is nothing but what for example if you want to start some business okay you want to start some business and uh, now on the internet also number of businesses are being going on okay without any kind of infrastructure etc etc now suppose uh you want to be a what we can say uh 
can it is possible uh, to use the e-commerce as a business and can we get the benefit from it as a low entry cost for example now you as a teacher okay you as a teacher and you want to start the classes correct listen the situation okay you as a teacher and you want to start the classes of uh, for example you can say the english or the mathematics or engineering subject also now physically what you have to do yes i have to arrange your class attend the classes ha huh, yes physically attend the class you need to ata asa consider kara tumhi ki tumhi as a teacher hai ani tumhala kay karaycha hai ki tumcha class chalu karaycha hai don't think you as a student only consider tumhala ek you need the place you need the plot you need the one uh, room at, at least you one one room you will need yes sir yes sir then you need the chairs then you need the blackboard etc 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 correct ho oh. but if you just if you just record that video in your home and place it on the online site by creating your website blog or on the youtube also which is the cost effective first option or the second option yes cost effective in the sense which will require the less cost e-commerce e-commerce e definitely e-commerce e will require the less cost tumhala kay fakt blackboard tumcha the black or the whiteboard you have need to utilize you have to uh, you can you can take the classes directly online like just i am taking correct or not yes sir yes sir so definitely teaching teaching if you consider teaching as a one kind of the business activity it is, so what is the what is the advantage you are getting here you are starting your business activity and cost of entry in the business is very low yes or no yes, yes sir so that is yes, in the similar way we can start your business like uh, for example number of people from the yola also selling the patani online only that is also the one business correct or not yes sir yes, sir so entry cost in this kind of business in using e-commerce entry into the any kind of business using the e-commerce the cost required is low yes or no yes sir yes that is nothing but the first reason why we why we use the e-commerce for the businesses then reduce transaction costs also suppose yes, yes. there is a reduction in the transaction cost also then easy access to the global market means what yes sir means what easy access to the global market means what suppose you have started your patani business okay the advertisement of that patani business you can do all over india all over the world yes or no Yes sir. yes sir that is nothing but the easy access to the global market correct or not yes sir jar tumhi e-commerce use kela nahi tar apan te karu shaku ka nahi nahi then secure market share means you can you can do this kind of activity securely in the global market understood security is being also provided when you when you are using the uh, e-commerce as a you know to do the business activities okay so these are the reasons why we use the e-commerce understood all of you yes sir yes, sir. yes. let's see the brief history the when actually this kind of activity started okay now in the 1970 uh the first kind of network that is being referred as the electronic uh, for the purpose of electronic fund transfer that is the eft used by only the banking industry to exchange the account information on the secure network so this the uh, starting of this kind of activity were done by whom the banking industry for what purpose to just share the 
information related with the account not for selling any product or uh, 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 purchasing any product or for uh, doing the money transaction etc etc it is the start was for what purpose to just exchange what account information and that is over what the network understood small network because internet was there in the 1970 was the internet was there was the internet uh, available in the 1970 no sir no when the internet started yes oh, 9 1980 urban net ha uh, means around the 1985 uh, 90 period correct yes sir yes so initially so in the 1970 they have just created the small we can see the kind of local network okay and that is being utilized in the bank to just share what or to exchange what the account related information so that is the first uh, uh what you can say the period where such kind of activities started which is being referred as the electronic fund transfer or the electronic account information transfer within a small network not over the internet within a small network then second in the 1970 and 80 uh another uh, technology comes that is the electronic data interchange where the network being utilized for doing e-commerce between the companies only for what for doing the e-commerce between the companies not not between the one company and customer these activity were started in the 1970 and 80 only for what between the companies between the companies in the sense for example we can say the uh, maruti company which is the tire uh, uh, car manufacturing company and some other company some other xyz company understood so these these techniques or the technology being utilized by businesses to transmit the data from one business to the another business understood here also there was a no presence of the internet it was also on the some kind of what we can say the uh, local area network or some kind of wide area wide area network but without any kind of internet services restricted small kind of network being created uh, between the two or more companies understood okay so that is the second uh, step towards the e-commerce and then in the 1990 where the presence of internet was there all over the world where such kind of activity were started the activity now we are experiencing like a uh, purchasing something from the amazon or uh, uh, doing the uh, putting your product on online website and selling your product this kind of activity were actually started from 1990 to 1995 understood so these are the three stages okay from the 1970 up to the 1990 and from 1990 up to the current period okay so this is the historical points related with the e-commerce activity understood yes sir yes sir okay so actually we can say from the 1990 period actually actual e-commerce activity started yes or no correct because before that the activities are happening on the what we can say on the small networks only understood now let's move forward what exactly is the process of e-commerce that is nothing but when you go for purchasing something from internet as a part of the e-commerce from some online web information system you take the example of amazon or the snap deal what process has to be follow that is nothing but the process of doing the e-commerce okay how many of you how many of you have purchased anything from the online site up till most of you are done yes okay then and then only you can understand this point very easily correct 
so when you want to purchase something from online website what you do first you sit on the computer then you utilize the web browser to connect your home page uh, let me let me let me take you back one point i want to ask you uh, what is the difference between the world wide web and the internet yes can anybody tell me what is the difference between the world wide web and the internet or both the things are same yes <coughs> mayur ha yes i think both the things are same both the things are same all of you think same नाही सर हा यस सूरज सर आपण इंटरनेटनी वर्ल्ड वाईड वेब ऍक्सेस करतो ना मग इंटरनेट मध्ये दुसरे पण मेथड देऊ शकतो ओके तेजस यस सर आपण इंटरनेटच्या माध्यमातूनच वर्ल्ड वाईड वेब ऍक्सेस करतो ना हा मग इंटरनेट काय आहे इट इज द इट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ लार्ज नेटवर्क यस और नो अँड वर्ल्ड वाईड वेब इज नथिंग बट वॉट जे आपण वेब पेजेस तुम्ही ऍक्सेस करता करेक्ट वेन यू गो टू सम वेबसाईट यू ऍक्सेस द वेब पेजेस नथिंग एल्स दॅन दॅट येस ऑर नो येस सो वर्ल्ड वाईड वेब इज नथिंग बट इट इज इट इज इट इज समथिंग विच इज रनिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट विथ द हेल्प ऑफ द विच काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल you must have heard about the http yes or yes, no sir. hypertext transfer protocol understood yes. so with the help of the http protocol the web pages are interlinked with each other and that can be access with the help of the internet services understood so these are the completely different things world wide web and the internet internet is a large collection of networks where the world wide web is nothing but the service which is running on that internet clear yes sir yes sir yeah yes, now here we are discussing the the process of e-commerce when you want to purchase something on the amazon what you do a consumer uses the web browser to connect the home page of merchant website to the internet first you open that is nothing but opening the website of amazon then consumer browse the catalog product feature on the site and select the item to purchase then you search you search on that amazon website suppose you want to buy the mobile you you type there redmi uh, with certain kind of version etc etc correct then you select that item if you want to purchase more than one item you select that item and you entry of that items happens in the shopping cart shopping cart means what what is the shopping cart sir samjha aplyala at a time ek kiwa ek apek jasta jar ha ata apan physically mark bazarat jato tya ves kay karto apan aplya kade bag aste barobar okay bak apan tela the shopping cart is nothing but the online bucket yes or no yes sir yes, here i can show you let's see most of you must be knowing but some student don't know he dal tumche shopping ata physically apan tumhi shopping mall madhe gela asal tar baka this kind of bucket you utilize yes or no yes sir tar bhakta online kay ki tumchi ti list list down hote ki it uh, whatever item you select uh, its list getting created and it is being uh, enter in your uh, account as you want to uh buy all these product okay so whatever things you select the entry of that happens in the shopping cart when the customer is ready to complete the purchase of selected items he or she do the billing and you need to give the address where your product must be get delivery yes or no you must have to give your address there where this product or whatever mobile you have purchased there will get deliver okay then when the merchant merchant in the sense that uh, 
Amazon Web Information System. When the merchant web server receives this information, it computes the total cost, including tax, shipping charges, handling charges, etc., etc. Okay, these all the things also get uh, when you when you receive the product. These all the information regarding tax, shipping charges, handling charges, everything get display on that bill which is come with your product. Understood all these four steps? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. काय आपण आपण ओपन करतो ऍड्रेस टाकतो आयटम सिलेक्ट करतो करेक्ट दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स हिअर अँड देन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर देन यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड द हाऊ यू आर गोइंग टू डू द पेमेंट वेदर यू आर गोइंग टू युटिलाइज द क्रेडिट कार्ड डेबिट कार्ड और आर यू गोइंग टू डू द वन ऑप्शन इज वन मोर ऑप्शन इज वॉट कॅश ऑन डिलिव्हरी कॅश ऑन डिलिव्हरी एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा so when you if you try to utilize the credit card it is get validated how many of you utilize the credit card debit card up till yes anybody yes, have, anybody of you have utilized the credit card debit card for this kind of uh, uh, purchasing the product from online site yes sir use kele credit card debit card yes sir okay so whenever you utilize the credit card debit card it also send you one uh, otp also correct yes sir yes sir okay and then you have to authenticate you that you are the owner of that credit card etc 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 okay then you are the, that commerce site server site forward your order into the processing and then your order get process finally when you receive the your product through the some kind of delivery service so this is nothing but the process of e-commerce simple yes sir okay then importantly the question instead of directly asking the writing the question like uh, write a note on the e-commerce this kind of things also being asked but most of the time question being asked explain the various types of the e-commerce what explain the various types of the e-commerce for the eight marks so generally there are the four types of e-commerce okay we see the one by one first in that the business to business e-commerce which is being popularly called as b2b yes now this kind of business is nothing but what between one business company to another business company here companies are doing business with each other i have mentioned here there is a no involvement of consumer or the customer in case of the business to business e-commerce okay can anybody tell me the example of this kind of e-commerce as a b2b business to business dell company sir dell uh, what manufacturer what it is doing tell me dell means what it is doing what sir, dell is doing the business computer Haan. computer and laptop ji aple company sir dell ji sir te mang te products asa na sir eka second manufacturer ne vastar te ha man dell kuna kadun purchase karte intel it you are correct intel dell is company. dell is purchasing that from somebody and then selling to us correct yes sir now if you consider the dell is purchasing from the intel then intel is the one company dell is the one company yes or no yes sir yes sir that is nothing but the business to business is the customer ala ka kute made is there involvement of the customer no sir no. no that's why i have mentioned also here it is nothing but the online transactions or the activities being done between the manufacturers wholesalers and the retailers etc etc there is a no involvement of the customer okay another example we can have related with the automobile manufacturer correct if you take the example of maruti company barobar maruti company kay karte it is producing the car correct yes or no all of you must yes, be know yes sir but does the maruti company also producing the tires yes sir tires glass no, wind screen no sir तुम्ही जर मारुतीचे जर गाडे बघितले त्यांना टायर्स कुठले असते सी एट एम आर एफ करेक्ट 
वेगवेगळ्या आहेत भरपूर आहेत मग मारुती इज द प्रोडक्ट मारुती द प्रोडक्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस द कार द मारुती कंपनी ऑल्सो नीड टू परचेस इट फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स येस ऑर नो येस सर इफ यू टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ एम आर एफ कंपनी एम आर एफ इज टायर कंपनी करेक्ट येस सर सो वेन द मारुती कंपनी परचेसिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम द एम आर एफ कंपनी दॅट इज ऑल्सो नथिंग बट द वॉट बी टू बी अंडरस्टूड येस सर शाल वी मूव्ह फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट टाइप येस सर ओके नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टंट वन बिझनेस टू कंझ्युमर विच इज बिंग मोस्टली युटिलाइज येस ऑर नो येस सर बिझनेस टू कंझ्युमर ऑर बिझनेस टू कस्टमर ट्रान्झॅक्शन नाव हिअर कंपनी विल सेल दिअर गुड्स ऑर सर्व्हिसेस डायरेक्टली टू द कस्टमर्स ओके देर इज अ डायरेक्ट इंट्रॅक्शन और डायरेक्ट बिझनेस हॅपन्स बिटवीन द वन कंपनी विथ दिअर कस्टमर्स नाव दॅट प्रोसेस ऑफ इ कॉमर्स जस्ट वी हॅव डिस्कस आय हॅव शोन इट हिअर ओके यू कॅन इझिली सी ऑर्डर प्लेस बाय द कस्टमर देन इट गो टू द शॉपिंग कार्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड ऑर एनिथिंग गेट चार्ज ऑर्डर गेट कम्प्लिमेटेड देन इमेल सेंड टू द कस्टमर देन सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन सेट सेंड टू द वेअर हाऊस ऑफ द कंपनी वेअर दॅट प्रोडक्ट इज देअर वेअर हाऊस म्हणजे काय वॉट डू मीन द वेअर हाऊस जिथे प्रोडक्ट जिथे प्रोडक्ट साठवलेला असतात करेक्ट ओके देन फ्रॉम दॅट वेअर हाऊस दॅट प्रोडक्ट गेट डिलिव्हर टू द कस्टमर ओके सो बी टू सी मेन कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ बी टू सी इज नथिंग बट इट इज ओनली बिटवीन द वन बिझनेस कंपनी अँड कस्टमर अंडरस्टूड हेर आय शो गिवन द एक्झाम्पल ऑल्सो सो ऍज वी हॅव डिस्कस द कन्झ्युमर कॅन ब्राउज देअर वेबसाईट लुक ॲट द प्रोडक्ट सिलेक्ट द प्रोडक्ट एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा now what are the example of these nothing but different kinds of like amazon flipkart jabong etc we are we are purchasing the product from all these site yes or no yes sir so this nothing but these are all the these are all we are considering these are all the business companies and as we are produce you are we are purchasing from them and we become the customer correct yes and that's why it is the it come under the which kind of type of commerce business to consumer all of you understood the second yes sir okay. yes sir let's go to the third consumer to business have you heard about this okay here we are discussing the here we are discussing the third type of e-commerce okay first we have discussed the business to business then second we have discussed the what is the second we have discussed business to consumer business to consumer and this is the third consumer to business means it is the reverse of b to c where consumer doing the business with the business company or giving the service to the business company now this kind of things can only happen when somebody is having some skill which he can offer to the company to any kind of company okay now can anybody tell me the example of this consumer to business cars 24 website sir which cars 24 that so what is happening car. there that is that is a, another type of e-commerce that is the four type of e-commerce that is a, we are coming to that that is the c to c correct or not कार्स ट्वेंटी फोर वर काय होत कुणीतरी दोन जुगाव वन सेकंड हँड कारच्या रिलेटेड आहे ना ते वन कस्टमर सेल द कार अँड कार्स ट्वेंटी फोर कॅन प्रोव्हाइड दिस कार टू द अनदर कस्टमर लाईक दॅट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दॅट कॅनॉट बी अ कन्झ्युमर टू द बिझनेस 
here what i am saying individual who has something to offer to some manufacturing company hmm sometime you might have heard one particular uh, somebody has created one software some individual person and he has sell that software to the some software company yes or no yes sir have you heard these things yes sir yes now that kind of person is called as a it freelancer kai it freelancer it freelancer there are number of freelancing websites are available okay where individual you can produce your own software and you can sell your software through that website to the company etc etc understood so when some individual person sell their some product to some manufacturing industry then that kind of business is nothing but called as what consumer to business e-commerce correct yes sir yes now if some individual person giving service to the some business company okay listen carefully what i am saying if some individual person giving some service to the some xyz business company that can also come under this category of consumer to business yes or no yes yes sir yes now how many of you have seen you open some blog or you open some website and on that website ads are coming yes sir most of you have seen that yes or no yes sir when you click on that ads what happen redirect the page it redirect the page where suppose that ad showing you the product related with the amazon company correct Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Means your web page will be get redirected to the Amazon site, correct? Yes, sir. Correct. What now? Yes, what sir. is the what is the advantage? Suppose consider you have your own website, you are we you have your blog, correct? Yes, yes sir. sir. On your blog website or website, yes, there comes the advertisement, and somebody click on this advertisement, it take the. we that redirect the page to the amazon website then what is your advantage in that here i want to ask Money. you are you providing any service to the amazon company yes sir what kind of service Money. you are providing advertisement advertisement you are doing using your own website yes or no yes sir so can we call you are providing uh, you as a individual providing service to the amazon company yes sir that is also that is nothing but what consumer to business e commerce yes sir yes sir exactly so here i have mentioned the same thing we can see the c to b model at work in the blog or the internet forum in which the offer uh, the author the owner of the website or blog offers a link back to an online business thereby facilitating the purchase of the product like book or whatever whatever things you have to whatever things that advertisement is related to for which the author might receive the affiliate revenue now this kind of thing is also called as the affiliated marketing for your knowledge purpose this is also called as what Uh, affiliated marketing. marketing if you go you can you as a student can also earn the money using this business model yes or no yes sir yes yes so you can also do it affiliated marketing if somebody if somebody click on this if xyz person click on your uh, website advertisement 
and it redirects it to the Amazon. And if that X Y Z person purchase mobile from Amazon using your uh, website link, then that Amazon company also gives some of money to you also. Correct? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, yes that is nothing but the consumer to business model. If you want to see, if you want to see, I can show you here. Uh, okay. Can you able to see the change in the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, all of you can able to see the health health line. Health line. Yes, sir. Blog. Yes, sir. This is the health line blog, where somebody individual has created it. Here, here you can see one advertisement is showing here. Yes, sir. This is yes, the advertisement sir. related with some certification program. Okay. Yes, sir. And. If if you click on these, it definitely take you to that particular site, which is related with the selenium. Okay, it is doing that. Yes. Now we have come to the Azureka website. Their website. This is nothing but what affiliated marketing, or this is nothing but we are referring it as what it is the. Customer or consumer to business model. All of you understood? Yes, sir. Okay, change in the screen. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, we have come okay on the slides, and let's come to the last one. That is nothing but the consumer to consumer. When there is no involvement of any manufacturing business company here, only things happen between the one consumer to the. other consumer where the consumers are in direct contact with each other no companies involved here it helps the people to sell their personal goods asset directly to the interested customer or to the interested party example of this you must have heard selling of different things goods like cars bikes electronics devices on the like tv also you can purchase to somebody else on the online using the web information system like olx quicker etc etc cars 24 now somebody has told me yes correct yes so this is <laughs> this is nothing but the you 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 itself can if you want to sell your mobile also you can put it on the that particular uh, web information system Okay, like I think on the OLX mobile are also getting sale. Yes, on the OLX anything yes. getting sale, everything getting sale. Okay, you want to sell your mobile, TV, etc., etc. Everything you can sell to the other consumers, and this is nothing but the four fourth business model related with the e-commerce. That is the C to C. I hope all of you got yes. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. and let's see the some of the advantages of e-commerce. No checkout queues means what? What do you mean by the no checkout queues? Udhari, udhari ne raane aapko. Just uh, you can see that suppose you go to the some shopping mall, and if the crowd is very huge, you need to pay the bills. You need to you need to stand up in the queue. लाइन मध्य उभ रहा अपने बरबर गर्दी जाए का नो नहीं दैट्स वाई द नो चेकआउट क्यूज रिड्यूस प्राइसेस दैट यू ऑल ऑफ यू आर नोइंग यू कैन शॉप एनीवेर इन द वर्ल्ड यू कैन हैव द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ एक्सेस रि बारा वजता सुधा तुम्हें परचेस करू शकता करेक्ट फिजिकल स्टोर मध्य जाऊ करू शको का अपन करू शकता तुम रिटिव करू शकता बट दैट इज अ डिफरंट थिंग देन वाइड सिलेक्शन टू केटर फॉर ऑल कंज्यूमर्स यू कैन गेट वरायटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट 
correct or not you can get the variety of product yeah. you can get the multiple options to choose there these are these are the some advantages let's come to the disadvantage unable to examine the product personally that is the one thing correct means what just to me just like you go to the sh some shop online uh, so, sorry physical shop like a mobile sh store you can check your mobile ki kasa photo hai to hai whether clarity is good like this kind of things everything you can check in the physical store yes or no yes sir yes sir online apan karu shakto ka ya goshti check no no that's why the unable to examine the product personally then not everyone is connected to the internet sagarnas internet vaparta yeta asa hai ka no no that is also the one disadvantage there is a possibility of credit card number theft yes yes sir tumcha credit card chi information cha misuse ho shakto correct yes sir okay and uh, still there not all the products are available on the internet here i have mentioned on an average one ninth means out of nine one product is available on the internet still now such kind of situation is here means what whatever product you want that every product still not available on the internet yes or no yes okay so that is also the one disadvantage so this is nothing but the case study of the e-commerce clear we have done the more detail study regarding the e-commerce yes yes sir yes sir yes sir and this study we have done because there is a involvement of information system correct or not yes sir without the information yes, system can we able to perform all these kind of activities or whether this business can become successful no no okay and here is the quote for you today the expert in anything was once a beginner i hope all of you got the meaning yes sir those who are observing today as a expert in any field he has started to doing that field from the zero level okay so always don't uh, if you are if you are started doing something good today and if you are finding it too difficult initially everybody find it to do something good to perform difficult but as a time pass you give the you put your more effort in doing something then at last you will definitely become expert in that particular thing that is the meaning okay yes so have you started doing anything apart from the academics new thing yes how many of you have learned some new thing in this lockdown period ha ah, yes tejas sir i i learn html css and then sadya mm -hmm. python karto me very good now there is no need that you need the some expert to teach you physically on the internet on the youtube lot of things are present from which you can start learning you can you can begin until you not begin to do something you will never become expert in that things that is the point i want to tell you okay so if anybody still have not started doing something new start learning something new try to utilize the time okay so that's it from the today's lecture i hope all of you have got whatever we have discussed in this session okay shall i conclude now yes sir yes sir okay thank you all of you
थैंक यू सर